Sometimes I get intrusive thoughts. Sometimes I get delusions. Throw the glass of water in his face. Sometimes I get really paranoid. And I start thinking that something's going on around me that's really not happening. I think someone's following you. Someone's definitely following you. Yes, he's coming. He's dangerous. I think he's really. I think he's out to get you. I'm sure he's out to get you, Johnny. You need to be careful. You need to be really careful. I stay Johnny. He's following you. Stay closer. Stay close to you, Johnny. I love writing, listening to music, going camping as well. I love camping. When I've had a few drinks, uh, I like a bit of a dance <laughs> as well. And I love making films. All round normal things, I guess. My name is Johnny Benjamin, I'm 26, I live in Manchester and I have schizoaffective disorder which is a combination of schizophrenia and depression. When I was 10 years old I started to hear a voice in my head and I thought that voice was an angel at first and I quite liked it being there actually and at the same time I went to the cinema to see the film The Truman Show with Jim Carrey and I started to believe that I was in my own version of The Truman Show. When I was 20, one night I left my house and I just completely lost control. I went onto a, a dual carriageway nearby and I was shouting and I was screaming and eventually I collapsed in the middle of the dual carriageway and when I was admitted into a psychiatric unit I was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder. I ran away from hospital and I um, went onto a bridge and um, I was about to jump off but this guy just passed by and he started talking to me and he was telling me things like I've been here, I've been where you are and I've got through it so I know you can too and just hearing those words had such a massive impact on me because um, no one had ever said to me you know you, you can get through it, you can get better. Three years ago now I made my first YouTube film about my mental illness. I was just amazed by people that were contacting me from all over the world telling me that either they learned something about mental illness they would not learned before or that it helped them to come to terms with their own mental health issues or maybe even go and seek help. I just want to get the message out there that, that you, you can talk about whatever's going on and people aren't going to judge you and it's not a weakness, it's, it's actually a strength I think to talk, to be open about your mental health issues. You know, I've got a chronic mental health condition, but you know, I'm, I'm getting there and I've, I've come to accept it and I've learned ways to manage it. And if I can do it, then hopefully other people can, can do it as well.